Do not mourn over broken relationships. When God separates you from relationship, go and give thanks. He has separated you from death. The heart of man is evil. Jealousy is rooted in the heart of man. You do not see what goes on in the mind of these people. Somebody that you have broken bread and butter with will all of a sudden start resenting you. You do not need to do anything to people for them to hate you. You do not need to do anything to people for them to resent you, for them to plot evil against you. Matthew chapter 10 verse 36 A man's enemy would be the member of his own household. Did you hear me? A man's enemy will be the members of his household. Meaning the people that are going to harm you in this life, the people that are going to hurt you in this life are within your close circle, are within your close proximity. So when God separates you from ungodly relationship, go and give thanks. You do not see what goes on in the heart of man. The heart of man is evil. Everything that God does produces righteousness and justice. What did Abel do to Cain for Cain to kill him? Nothing. What did David do to Saul that Saul wanted to kill him? Nothing. What did Joseph do to his brothers for them to betray him? Nothing. What did Jesus do to Peter and Judas for them to deny him and betray him? Nothing. So you see, you don't have to do anything to people for them to kill you or for them to hate you. Hatred is deeply rooted in the heart of man. Hatred is better from sin. We have two spirits in us, the flesh and the spirit. The only thing that is keeping us grounded is the Holy Spirit of God. And that is why the Bible says in Hebrew chapter 4 verse 12, the word of God is sharper than a double-edged sword. It overrides our thoughts. That is why Jesus is telling us that cost is the one who trusts a man more than God. Do not trust men more than God. Do not trust anybody more than God. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5. Cost is the one who trusts a man, who turns away from the Lord. Cost is the one who trusts a man. It is the people within your close proximity, your best friends now. It is the people around you that doesn't want you to prosper. They would rather see you dead or regress. The hatred for you is deeply rooted. You do not see the heart of man. You are not a spirit. The one who sees the heart of man, the one who knows the mind of man, the, the one who, who knows what goes on in the, in the secret is revealing to you, is separating you from sin. And instead of you to stay separated, you are going back. Why are you going back? Why are you going back to Egypt? If God has separated you from a relationship, remain separated. Remain separated from that relationship and move forward. Move forward. God wants to bless you richly, but you are too busy holding on to the former things. He says in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19, Don't worry about the former things. I am already doing new things in your life. For you to receive new blessings, you have to let go of the former things. You have to let go of past relationships, broken relationships. Move forward with your life. That is what God is telling you. Look forward to the new things that I'm about to do in your life. When you're holding on to past when you're holding on to the past, you're blocking your blessings. When you're holding on to the past, you are blocking your blessings. So move forward. If God has separated you from a relationship, remain separated, please. Think of the future. Think of God. Pray to God to give you direction. Everything that God does is done with righteousness and justice. Our God is not an unjust God. God is not going to separate you or because he wants you for himself. Yes, that is true. But then again, there are things that have been done that he has seen in them that he doesn't want you to be around these people. God separates people from sinners. Don't you know that? He separates his children from sinners. You do not see the heart of man. No. <laughs> Humans are evil. Hum the human heart. You do not see the heart of man. No. The human heart is evil. Evil. You know, Satan is the father of hatred. It is deeply rooted in the heart of man. And that is why God gave us his spirit to help us. Because eh, the Israelites couldn't enter the land of milk and honey. Immediately they left Egypt. Why? Because they were holding on to Egypt. They were wishing they were in Egypt. And so God told them, mm -mm, with this mindset of yours, you will not enter my place of rest. 
You will not enter my place of rest. You know that God had better plans for Israelites. God has better had better plans for his children. He already told his children that he's taking them to the land of milk and honey. But you need to see the way these people frustrated Moses. Telling Moses that they wish they were in Egypt. And this is what people are doing today. When God separates you from relationship, you are looking for a way to mend that relationship. You are looking for a way to change your attitude. You are looking for a way to go back. Go back to a relationship that God has separated you from. This is why you need to pray. This is why you need prayer. I keep preaching. Pray to God Almighty. You people need deliverance. We all need deliverance. I have been there. I cannot preach to you what I have not experienced. Three relationships, I have lost three relationships back to back. And in those relationships, I knew the heart pain. I knew the pain that I went to in mourning those relationships. It took the grace of God for him to pull me out of that mindset. After a while, I started, I started understanding why God separated me from those relationships. Really, you don't need to do anything for people to harm you. I kid you not. There are some people that they don't even want to hear your voice. The moment they hear your voice, the moment they see you, you have ignited hatred in them. That's why Jesus is telling us now in Matthew chapter 10, verse 36. It is the people within your close proximity that will harm you. A man's enemy is within his household. So don't trust man. Okay? Pray to God about everything. Pray to God about everything. Keep moving forward. Okay? Seek God and find peace. Come to Jesus and find peace. Hmm? God will send genuine people in your life, people that will give you peace, people that will love you, people that, people that will bring joy and happiness to your life. So if God has separated you from relationships, please, please pray to God. Tell him that you need direction. Tell him that it is his breath in you and that you need direction no matter how much it hurts heartbreak trust me i've been there heartbreak is so hot it's so painful the reason why it is painful it is because these are the people that you trust nothing hurts more than someone that you trust so much to harm you or hurt you nothing hurts more than that i kid you not through relationship i can summarize my own relationship for you people three relationship i'm talking about three friendships three friendships the first one was four years i lived with somebody for four years i thought that okay you know since we've been living together we've broken bread and brother and um, butter together you know somebody that i regarded as my soul sister it took one person from a distance just in one year i'm telling you one person from a distance to just completely shatter the relationship i kid you not already before that person even came eh and this one thing i need you to know is that you're not the only one in people's life who your friend has a friend that has a friend are you understanding your friend has a friend that has a friend and you do not know what those people are whispering into your friend's ear you do not know what these people are saying to your friend you do not know the energy that these people are bringing to your friend or bringing into your relationship in my own case this one has already started isolating herself and at that time, I, it was a sign that God was showing me, but I, I didn't pay attention to the sign. She has already started isolating herself. No communication. Right? And so I didn't take it so serious. I didn't see it as anything. Until when a friend from a different place came to the uh, our place. Until when her friend came in. And then it looks like the isolation or the hatred that she had for me intensified. This is somebody that I've lived with for four years old. So if someone had told me that the person that I have lived with for four years, the person that I have considered my soul sister would be the one to hurt me, do you think I would believe them? But my eyes were so blinded. I did not see, I didn't know what was going on in the heart of them. I didn't know the kind of conversations they were having about me. I just didn't know anything. Till this day, if you ask me what my offense is, I don't know. But since I found Jesus, I went ahead and apologized for the things that I don't even know what I did. To this day, if they can come and tell me, Lorita, this is what you did to me, I will apologize. You know, it took me like almost an entire year to mourn over that relationship. I kid you not. The reason why it hurt me so bad was because, the reason why it hurt me so bad was because I trusted this person. I'm telling you this is somebody that I considered as my soul sister, right? Now, the second relationship. 
this one i was thinking oh since god has taken away the first relationship god has already planted a new relationship in my life so this one i was really excited about it you know i've already lost my first friendship and now my second friendship i was so happy about this one because this one she's also a christian you know we used to pray together we do fellowship together we used to do a lot of things together this is somebody that i considered as my soul sister the thing about me is that when i'm in a friendship right i don't treat people like you know regular people like i get so attached i get attached easily that's something <laughs> and thank god that god is working on me now i get so attached when i'm in a relationship i get really attached like i go above and beyond right for my for my friends right so anyway so this this second relationship right the moment i open my mouth right this is somebody that both of us were going through a lot of stuff together right and the moment i opened my mouth and you know shared my testimony with her about the new job opportunity that i've got how god has blessed me all of that yada 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 um, i started noticing a shift a shift i'm telling you somebody that used to call me somebody that we would chat together she doesn't even call me anymore i'll be, I'll be the one calling and i could tell whenever we speak i could tell in my spirit because the holy spirit of god does not lie to us you could feel in your spirit that this person has already left you it's just like i was the one trying literally i was the one trying i'm the one always communicating i'm the one always calling and this is somebody that i ended up giving my resume this is somebody that i prayed for this is somebody that i did lord god saw my heart i went ab above and beyond for this person so that this person will secure her own employment you understand now where that jealousy and hatred is coming from i'm telling you this relationship till this day i don't know my offense where the jealousy and hatred was coming from i really don't know till this day and even if they see this video i pray that the god put god, god put this in their hearts that one day they will call me and maybe tell me exactly what my my offense was for them to treat me the way that they treated me for them to treat me with so much contempt are you seeing what i'm saying so it wasn't like oh i was the one that ended the relationship it's always them and then i'm left with you know guessing myself or trying to bite myself trying to uh, figure out what is it that i did so that i can do better so that i can get back to them get back to what exactly get back to what and even if you have forgiven them have they forgiven you you see why i say when god separates you from people he separates you from death even if you have forgiven them have they forgiven you when um judas betrayed jesus did you see jesus going to judas even though jesus had already forgiven because jesus is a forgiving god did you did the bible ever tell you that jesus went to judas because even if you have forgiven them it doesn't mean that they have forgiven you forgive and move on that is what god is telling us forgive or until god puts it the holy spirit is the one who who directs people unless that's why i'm telling you to pray don't just go by what people are saying go by the scripture i live by the scripture read the bible hear what god is saying god speaks to his children he speaks through his words he speaks in our hearts he speaks in a lot of ways God will tell you if it's that if that relationship is meant to be, it is meant to be. But I'm telling you, in most cases, if he has separated that relationship, if he has broken that relationship, move on. Move on. Do not mourn over that relationship. Right? So the second relationship, I offered help and then I got ghosted for offering help. The third relationship, I asked for help. I got ghosted for asking for help. So you see what I'm saying? there is nothing you can do to please man the heart of man like god said is really evil there is nothing you can do to please man so instead of you spending your time pleasing men use that energy to please god use it to please god god is the only one that sees the heart of man and he is the only one that can protect you from the evil of man i pray that this message speaks to your heart and i pray that you move forward i pray that you pray to god and i pray that god answers your prayer god plants people genuine people in your life god will prosper you god will heal your heart because he heals the brokenhearted god sees your heart do not mourn over your broken relationship this is the time to come closer to god when you're going through things in life come closer to god you don't just serve god in bad times you serve him both in good and in bad times you know god cares Pray to him. Hold on to him. Let your strength come from God. Let him be your refuge. Let him be your defender. Let him be your God. My strength coming from God Almighty who made heaven and earth. 
let your strength come from God. Let him comfort you. The Holy Spirit of God is a comforter. God will put genuine people in your life. So do not go back to your relationship, okay? Pray to God about everything. Pray that he gives you direction. 